Good morning, good morning. Okay, so today we are doing, this is week five, practice three. It should be Thursday in your world. All right, here we go. So a shape is shown, what describes, what two words best describe the shape? So as I said before, triangles are described by their angles and by their sides, okay? So let's label the angles. Are they acute, obtuse, or right? Okay, so this angle is acute, this angle is acute, this angle is acute. Acute means that they are, the angle is less than 90 degrees. So it's a small angle. And since all three angles are acute, this is an acute triangle. Okay, so that's its angle name. Now let's talk about its side name. Well, you'll notice that in this shape, this side and this side and this side are the same length. And since they're all the same length, this is an equilateral triangle because they're all the same, equal. Get it? All right, very good. Fill in the blanks with the numbers that complete the expanded form. Okay, so this is the first time that we've had two blanks, all right? So this is six and 384 thousandths, all right? We have a six in the ones place. We need to put a three in the tens place. So we need to write three tenths in this blank. So write your decimal and then write a three in the tenths place. Then you've got an eight in the hundredths place. And here we need to put a four in the thousandths place. So write your decimal. There's a zero in the tens place, a zero in the hundredths place, and put a four in the thousandths place. Easy. All right, here we go. Andy wants to make brownies for his team makes. One batch makes 16 brownies. It makes me feel better in my little teacher soul to just come over here and kind of draw what my batch is gonna look like, okay? So it'll be, um, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily look like this, but I'd like to think of like, this is my baking pan and this is what my batch looks like. Sometimes kids let that word batch throw them off, okay? So Andy wants to make brownies for his teammate. One batch makes 16 brownies. And if he is trying to feed four brownies each to 32 people, how many batches should he make? Okay, so let's make our chart. Okay, and in our chart, we're gonna have, the first section is going to be the people, how many people? The next section is gonna be brownies needed. And the last section is going to be number in a batch. All right, so here we go. How many people are we trying to feed? We are trying to feed 32 people. How many brownies do we need? Well, we've got 32 people and they each need four brownies. So 32 times four. Ms. Rose, I don't know 32 times four. You can come over here and let's solve it out. 32 times four. Four times two is eight. Four times three is 12, 128. So they need 128 brownies, okay? There are 16 in each batch. So we've got 16 in each batch. Now, some teachers will tell you that, you know, um, that you can take the 128 and you can divide it by 16. But I do not think that most of you know how to divide by two digit numbers at this point. So my suggestion to you is to add 16 up continually over and over again until you get to 128. So let's do it. 16 is one batch, okay? If I add another 16 to it, that'll be 32. That's two batches and we gotta get all the way to 128. So if we know that um, two batches is 32, you can double 32 and you know that four batches is 64, okay? and three batches would be, let's see, that would be 48. Okay, let's keep going. 64 plus 16 more is 80. Plus 16 more again 
is 96. Plus 16 more again. Ooh, Miss Ross is going to have to do this math over here. 96 plus 16 is 12. And we've got, that would be 11. So another batch is 112. We still don't have enough. Do 16 more again. 8, 2, ah, look at there. Now we've got 128. So how many batches was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight batches. All righty. Next one. Allison ran 200 miles in July, and she ran five times as many miles in July as she did in June. So I'm going to draw my chart out here. It says she ran three times as many in August as she did in June. So we've got a couple of different months here. So let's label our months. We've got July, June, July, and August. So I'm gonna write June, I'm gonna write it out, July and August. And then I'm gonna start filling in my chart. All right, she ran 200 miles in July, simple. 200, cross it out. She ran five times as much in July as she did in June. So this is the big number. She ran five times as much in this month as in this month. So that means that you have a number times five that equals 200, okay? June is the smaller of the numbers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take 200 and divide it by five. Five goes into 20 four times, four times five is 20. Subtract, you get a zero. When you bring down this zero, you better play with it. Five goes into zero, zero times, zero times five is zero, subtract. So 40 is June, okay? July is 200, and July is five times as much as June. June is 40. Then for August, so we figured out June and July, then it says she ran three times as many miles in August as she did in June. So you've got to take June, which is 40, multiply times three to get August. 40 times three, four times three is 12, and then add your zero. So how many miles did she run in August? She ran 120, and there's your answer. All right, and the last one, last year our class won the Golden Gator seven times. Last, oh wait, sorry, this year we won, our class won the Golden Gator seven times. Last year we won two times, and next year we have a goal to win two times as many times as we did in the first two years combined. All right, so there's three years here. Draw your chart. All right, so you've got this year. I'm going to write this last and next all right start filling in your chart this year we won it seven times easy last year we won it two times easy next year we have a goal to win two times as much as these two years combined so you have to take seven add it to two and you have to multiply it by two so seven plus two is nine times two is 18. Now, how many times will we win all together if we meet our goal? So you would have to add two plus seven plus 18. Two plus seven plus 18 equals, well, two plus seven is nine and nine plus 18 would be 27. So there is your answer. You will win it 27 times in all. All right, so remember that in order to be counted, you have to take down all of your notes. Make sure that you, um, and remember, use your notes on your quiz tomorrow so that you can get 100. All right, bye guys.